Hi everyone, I'm Mark Von Olin, the brand manager here at Denuo Novo. Welcome to our booth at New York Comic Con 2022. We're here at booth 2900 with our high-end Star Wars costumes and collectibles. So I'd love to show you around. So, right over here, standing next to our Imperial Officer uniform. This is an ensemble that you can buy in multiple pieces. We've got a tunic, the pants, there's also a belt, which you'll see on one of the other models. We've got a hat, and we have rank badges for the various ranks. So we've got a Grand Admiral, an Admiral, and a Grand Moff in stock. All of these are meant to be as close as possible to what you saw in the movie. So screen accurate, it's a beautiful material. Several of these pieces are in stock now, and a few others are on pre-order coming in later this month. Um, let's see, let's do, let's look at the Stormtroopers. I don't think it's gonna fit. So in the Denuo Nova portfolio, we have a large assortment of helmets. A lot of them are fiberglass, some of them are ABS plastic. This is our assortment right here of new Trilogy Stormtroopers all done in beautiful fiberglass. So as you can see, we've got the Force Awakens version, and then we move down to the Last Jedi version, which has a slightly different grill. You can see like the slight differences movie to movie right over here. And then the Executioner helmet, which has that great scene in Last Jedi uh, where they're gonna execute Rose and, uh, and Finn. Um, really scary uh, but they make it out thankfully we've got all of these in stock right now or actually um, on pre-order right now with the force awakens coming in stock at the end of the year uh, yeah, let's slide in and I'll just give you audio and you can get good So Denuo Novo also makes a wide collection of X-Wing helmets in ABS plastic, which matches the way it was done in the films. We've got Luke Skywalker, we've got Rey, which is from The Force Awakens, the one she's, uh, um, when she's outside of her house, sort of uh, trying on, um, the, the built-out at at uh, We've also got Gold Leader from A New Hope, Red Leader from A New Hope, and then General Merrick, the Blue Leader in Rogue One. And all of these are done from the same mold with uh, ABS plastic, the yellow visors, and then different deco style for each of the, the pilots. We've also got an array of TIE Fighter helmets. There are three of those in our portfolio. A standard TIE, a TIE Victor, and the Inferno Squad Commander from Battlefront 2. Yeah, this booth got, this is small. Like our space is just too small is what I'm finding. Um, we do have one new reveal. Yes, oh here, I'll put that back. Actually, if you want to get a good close-up of the Luke helmet, this is our top-selling X-Wing helmet, Luke Skywalker. Of course, Red 5, you know, uh, he blew up the Death Star. Everyone wants to be Luke. <laughs> um, let me show you the Poe Dameron helmet, because that's our reveal. And then, I'll, um, I'll give you some of our stuff. It's looking like a bobblehead, bro. Great for trooping, nice and light. But yes, uh, the X-Wings and the TIE Fighters are all ABS plastic, and then our other helmets are done in fiberglass. Okay. So this is our new reveal here at the booth at New York Comic Con. This is our Poe Dameron Blue Squadron Leader Helmet. This is from Star Wars The Force Awakens. It's made of this beautiful fiberglass, and like most other X-Wing helmets, it also has the yellow visor. Fully lined interior, like all of our helmets, along with these pads for comfort. Uh, this one just went on pre-order today, and if you visit DenuoNovo.com, you'll see that we are also running a sale. So if you spend $500 on DenuoNovo.com, you will save $100. We're also doing free domestic shipping and reduced international shipping. Um, what other calls to action? Um, we got some Mando helmets. I'll talk about that. So we've got three different Mandalorian helmets. We have Sabine Wren, straight out of Star Wars Rebels, which is actually my favorite part of the whole saga. This helmet is on pre-order right now, and it'll be in stock um, later this month or early in November. We're also gonna be working on her season four style helmet, because you know, she repaints her helmet numerous times. We've got the Mandalorian himself, Din Djarin. This is one of our top sellers, made of this beautiful fiberglass. And then new to the portfolio is Django Fett. So straight out of Attack of the Clones, that one's got that beautiful cold cast and then the blue collar with the viewfinder. Um, he just came in stock in August, so that is shipping now. Mando is also shipping, and then Sabine will be out a little bit later this year. I think that's pretty much everything.